hard work, determination. I've got to keep pushing myself. My name is Michael Lugo. I have been taking photos for nine years. One of the things I decided to do was I said, you know, wouldn't it be cool if someday I could set up a chair or something and you know when I had a kid I would I would have them sitting on my lap and every day I would take a picture and watch them grow up but I still don't have any kids so I thought well I can I could do this myself you know I could take a photo of myself every day so on August 25th of 2007 I took my first photo you know taking that first photo I felt like I was gonna start something you know I was finally gonna get something done and the way I decided to do it was I had an iMac. There was a program called Photo Booth, and I could take a photo, and then I could see the next photo that I took, I could see how much I had moved between, you know, one day and another, one photo and another. I decided to look it up on YouTube, and I found that there were already people doing this, and I was like, oh, well that's kind of, you know, disappointing that I'm not the first person to think about it. I saw a very straightforward, passport style photos and you kind of just watch someone get older and it was a little bit depressing. I wanted to make my photo project different. I wanted it to be more of a stop motion animation, have a bunch of easter eggs in it. These were all little things that would get you to be able to want to watch the movie more than once. And when I decided to do it I also decided that I wanted to do this every day for the rest of my life. After about six months of taking photos, I decided to upload a rough version to YouTube. It didn't really get many plays, you know, it was really for me. Just, I was putting it up so that I could show my friends, and after that it was an, after a year, and then I'd do it after two years. And then I uploaded the five-year version, and the next morning I woke up and I had 250 emails. And I thought, what the heck is going on? And I, I looked into it and i have gotten picked up on reddit.com. Next thing I knew, I had over a million views. And it was just kind of like really surreal, you know, to all of a sudden be out of nowhere like, hey, look at this thing you're making is awesome. And it's like, I've been doing this for five years, you know? I think that I probably have the easiest time spotting the random photos or the individual photos because I know when they're coming. I think it was about a year, year and a half into the project. Um, I had a friend of mine tattoo Buckethead's face on my inner arm so that I would always be able to look down and remember that I can't stop working hard, you know, that I have to keep doing this and that I can't make an excuse to not take a photo. I tell people the same, like, because people say, oh, it ta doesn't that take you so long or isn't it such a hassle to take a photo every day? And I tell people, if you can brush your teeth once a day, you have the same amount of time to take a photo. Both my friends and family uh, have always been very supportive of me. I try to have as many of my friends in a photo. Uh, if you're going to be over my house a lot, I'll, I'll tend to ask you to be in a photo. But my parents had never gotten a chance to be in a photo. I always wanted to have my mom in a photo, but she wasn't very... Uh, she, she didn't like getting photos taken of her. Uh, unfortunately, my mom passed away last year. Um, so at this point, I won't ever get a chance to have her in a photo, so I do kind of regret that a little bit. Part of why I'm taking photos is to be that, that bridge to other generations in my family, you know, even though I don't have kids, I have uh, two nieces and a nephew, and, you know, I worry someday that, you know, if I'm not around that my nieces and nephews might not know who I was or where I went or what I've done. Um, and that's kind of what we're all looking for, is some way to make our mark in the world and, and be remembered, you know. So if you want to check out the video, you can search YouTube for Quotidian Michael Lugo. Uh, that's spelled Q-U-O-T-I-D-I-A-N. Uh, it means daily.